Good afternoon, YouTube. My name is Brandon, and I just did a video last week. I'll put a link up here, up above. And a lot of you guys had made some really great comments, and I wanted to follow up with those, so we're going to do some experiments today. Summer is here in Maine, guys. It is currently about 90 degrees. Summer in Maine just hits all at once. It was like cold last night in the 40s, and we're at 90 degrees right now. So we're going to be welding up some real thin metal. A lot of people mentioned that they've had uh, some decent luck with 6011. Uh, you guys are asking about electrode positive and electrode neg negative. So I figured we'd try all those things today. And I found some welding electrodes that are so thin, they almost look like sparklers. If you're a regular viewer to my channel, welcome back. If you're a new viewer, well, I hope you enjoy my content. So let's dig into it, let's get going. Now, in last week's video, we talked about the ideal process. And really, stick welding isn't ideal, in my opinion, for welding sheet metal. But look what they list this as. Ideal for welding mild steel auto body repairs. So that's going to be... Um, probably thin metal if you're using uh, 16th inch rods. Good weld penetration, low spatter, easy slag removal. Okay, 6013 has which call is called a high deposition, meaning that it has a lot of coating on it on the end of the rod. They tend to burn really fast and they leave uh, a lot of material uh, that goes down quick, which is okay or better for a poor fit up. Now, is that opposed to 6011 rod, deep penetrating, um, and it's also good for metal that is, you know, dirty, rusty, you can't get it quite perfect, and it says right there, it runs best on AC or DC electrode positive, which is reverse polarity. That's what this rod likes best. I also figured what we'd do is we'd maybe mess around with the polarity and see which runs best running electrode positive or running electro negative. To give you an idea just how small these uh, 16th inch rods are, here I have a 6011, just your basic 6011 eighth inch rod, and it's sitting on top of a US uh, quarter, 25 cent piece. So here <laughs> is a 16th inch 6011. That gives you an idea. That's <laughs> pretty tiny, huh? Look at, the, look at the difference on that. And the 6013 is just about the same uh, outside diameter as the 6011. We've got 16 gauge material. I think what we're gonna do is we'll work on doing a lap joint. Now a lap joint would be very similar if you were like patching in something like maybe patching in a floorboard or patching in a uh, patch panel on your car. And again, the rods that we're using are 16th inch, 6013. We're going to be on DC electrode positive, meaning the electrode goes into the electrode holder. And when we follow the cable back, it is going into the positive lead of the welder. So let's turn it on. We're at 15. Okay, so let's take a look at what these 6013 electrodes are good for. Uh, they're rated between 20 and 45 amps. So let's uh, let's start with 20 and see how that works. We'll work our way up. These little tiny rods feel really strange if you're used to using uh, different welding electrodes. They're just so small, they're real springy. But the technique that I'm using here is I'm just holding the rod against the base metal, holding a real tight arc and just dragging it along. I can actually feel it in the electrode holder that I'm dragging. I'm not just driving it in, I'm just letting it gently slide along the base metal. Look who came out to visit, my grandbaby. He came out to do a little bit of weld inspections. How does it look? How do we do, Colton? This is Colton James. All right, you wanna go eat something? Let's go eat. Future welder right here. Now, I think that that was a really good amperage. 
you can see just a shy bit of undercut right in there. So 20 amps was probably a really good setting for this. So this is 6013. Let's, uh, let's try the same thing, but we're gonna do it on electrode negative. So I've got a brand new rod for each one of these test pieces and I'm doing the exact same thing that I did previously. Just running the rod along, dragging it as I did before, keeping everything consistent in the same. This is 6013 DC electro negative. Same material thickness, we're just running a 16th inch 6011 this time, electrode positive, and we're still at 20 amps. Right, watch the tip of the rod. Watch this. Let me just... So that's one thing you have to take into account. This rod is so thin that even... Let me just slide my hand along the plate and watch the tip of it. Look at the tip just kind of bounce. So... This is going to require a super, super steady hand. <laughs> Which I don't always have, so let's give her a go. In 6011 is a whip and pause rod. So unlike the 6013 rod where I just touch the rod and drag it along the base metal, here I'm actually holding the electrode about a sixteenth of an inch off the base metal and I'm doing a whip and pause technique. That's why you kind of see the rod extinguish itself every now and again because I'm trying to hold a real tight arc but I got to whip and pause it. And I'll leave a link for that up above to explain that whip and pause technique. It was definitely hot. Um, and I'm still at the same amperage, but it consumed a lot of that top lap joint. Here we go, 6011 DC electrode negative. So here we go again, right after I did the tax, I put a brand new electrode in and I'm just running along trying to keep that arc as tight as possible doing the whip and pause technique. Uh, they're just real springy, they're hard to keep a real tight arc. So with all our test pieces done, it's time to line them up, go get the boss and have an inspection done. Alright Colton, let's go, let's go to inspect the welds. You gotta point to which one looks best, Colton. Is it that one? Is it that one? Is it that one? Is it that one? You like that one? What? What? This one? I like that one too. Good choice. Good choice. Can Grampy have a kiss? Oh, you being shy for the camera? I'm actually very uh, impressed with the outcome results of this. I think it's very clear. We're going to go through each one individually and I'll give you my opinion. So here's the 6013 electrode positive. This is where I started. Uh, it went fairly well in through here. Doesn't look like a whole lot of undercut. And then I stopped here and then I restarted. So, but I mean, that's no biggie right there. Now, 6013 DC electronegative, look how much better that looks. Just the bead appearance itself is really nice. Now, I'm noticing this is where I started, right here. And it looks very consistent. There's no undercut. It wasn't even close to burning through. And we have good penetration. We'll, uh, we'll flip this over. So, out of the 16, 6013 rods, by far, DC electronegative is going to give you better results. Now, let's go over to the 6011s. Okay? Now, a 6011 is a whip and pause rod versus the 6013 rod. So, with 6011, you're going to go forward, go back, go forward, 
and whip it. I'll put a link up here in the description. I've got an explanation of that. But as far as bead appearance, DC electro positive. There's no issues with it. Um, I don't have any problems with it at all. DC electro negative, same thing as the 6013 rod. It just, bead appearance looks better. No undercut, there's no undercut in any of these and they all have good penetrations. My choice for 6011 would be DC electrode negative to weld sheet metal. Uh, using 6013, I would pick also DC electro negative. If you had to do the stitch method of stopping and starting using 6013, 6013 puts out a lot of metal, has a lot of deposition, has a lot of coating on it as compared to 6011. You're going to get less slag inclusion using a 6011 rod. Doing that, if you were to do stitches along the way, stopping and starting, stopping and starting, a 6011 rod would be a better choice. If you can just run it from front to back, in my opinion, 6013 would be the rod to go. You'd have to be careful running it front to back though because you're going to get warping. So if you're doing, you know, thin metal body panels, a 6013 rod probably isn't the way to go, but it looks pretty nice. Probably your best bet's going to be the 6011 on DC electro negative. That way you can do the stitches, you know, do a do a tack, 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 and then come back, tack, tack, tack to eliminate all your warping. By going just front to back, you're going to create warping. Let's flip these over and take a look and see how the back looks. All right, we can see right off that DC uh, electrode positive has a much more concentrated heat pattern. So you can see it all through there. So electrode positive does put out more heat, it appears, than electrode negative. Same thing with the 6013. Uh, the 6013 electrode positive is just much more visible, the heat signature, than on the 6013 DC electrode negative. So for those of you that suggested to me down in the comment section about uh, trying different rods, running uh, DC electrode positive and negative, I want to thank you guys. That was super helpful. Uh, and I hope other people got some value out of this. And it's kind of nice when you guys want to see something and I can kind of put it together. Uh, your feedback is important to me. Leave a comment down below if you thought this was helpful or you have some suggestions for an upcoming video. I'd love to hear about it. I try to reply to all of you guys' comments. I really appreciate it. I like the engagement. I really enjoy this part of it. Uh, if you guys want to see what I'm doing prior to uh, any of my videos coming out on YouTube, you can catch me on Instagram or on Facebook. I'll leave a link down below. Uh, I'm usually always doing like little video clips or uh, shout outs, interacting with you guys, doing stuff before any of my videos uh, get uploaded. If you have any questions about the welder I'm using or any of the tools that I'm using, you can find a link down in the description below. You got to say thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And we don't eat our hands usually when we do it. <laughs> okay. See you later, Mr. Colton. <laughs> Grammy Grampy love yous. Yeah. <laughs> All right.